Welcome to our lecture 21 and 8, Configure Remote Wipe. Maggie Brown has lost her iPad. She has a lot of sensitive data on the iPad, and she is concerned that it could fall into the wrong hands. She would like you to help her remotely wipe the iPad. Next slide, my task is to sign into iCloud, configure a Maggie iPad to be read, and the phone number and message should be displayed on the iPad. So this is normally something you do if you all even if you lose your iPhone or iPad, this is the, the best thing to do. Or you can uh, you can also you know you don't have to get a wipe. You can do like after ten passwords it gets erased, but you don't have to erase it directly. But it depends on the kind of data you have, the data you have there. And brown. Yeah iCloud.com. Okay. I'm going to keep a sign in. Maggie B. One, two, three. And in there, she's going to go to find iPhone. Find the tablet. Are the device my G iPad erase iPad erase I should have should have checked the remember my password one two three and follow the number to be displayed and the phone number Okay, click next, message, please, please give me a call when you found my I when you found when you found when you find you find my iPad, okay? Done. If you recover this iPad from service, you may be for any of the is installed, okay? Yeah, that's it. That's it. You can do that if your iPhone, if it's lost, log into iCloud. You can delete it or you can just put the message, okay? Soon enough.